Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. Not clickbait, straight up. This is the best deck I think I've played in the new patch. Obviously, it's day one of the new patch, like things are different, but let me explain. So, everyone's playing Leader, and Leader is actually pretty strong. This deck is great against Leader, because you play Destroyer on turn six, and then their Leader is terrible. They literally wipe their board, and I didn't pull it off on stream. But there were so many times where we basically had them in checkmate because they like can't beat Destroyer. And if they leader me, the Destroyer wins the game anyway, so it like doesn't matter, which is really cool, which is great. Uh, you're also really good against Shuri now because of the Cosmo change, where you just have your own Cosmo. You have Atuma uh, in Storm and Professor X. Atuma doesn't really matter. I don't know why I listed it there. But you have like all of these tools to disrupt the lane and just lock a lane out. Like if you Storm early and Professor X, then you just win two of the three lanes. You know what I mean? Like you're fine. You're totally fine. Um... You know, you have Sunspot, which is just a great card. Zero is just a good card with Titania, Lizard, Atuma, uh, Red Skull, and Destroyer sometimes. Storm's a really good card. Uh, Storm can be amazing. Uh, you know, you can go Atuma into Professor X, which is great. You can go uh, Armor, Atuma, which is great. You can go Claw to play into the Storm lane if you lose the Storm lane by a little bit, which is great. And you can go Claw into Armor and then Destroyer on the last turn, so you can still win the Flooding, which is great. This deck was super good. I, I genuinely thought it was awesome. It was super good. It was great against Sandman, uh, which is now playing Leader. It was great against Shuri because you have all the location disruption. And it was just great against other random junk, which, all good. You know, all good. It was good against, like, the random, uh, like, bounce decks people were playing because you have Cosmo. It's good against Mr. Negative because you have Cosmo. Like, there's just a lot of good cards here. Just genuinely, a lot of good cards. Location disruption is very good. Um, ironically, pretty bad against Jeff the Shark, but not really a lot of people are playing Jeff the Shark. So, like, you might lose some cubes to Storm or Professor X and Jeff the Shark being the hot card. But other than that, I thought this deck was great. Definitely give it a try. Not clickbait. I actually thought it was amazing. It was the best deck I played on stream in like the three hours I played. I do have Valkyrie now, so I expect a Valkyrie video coming soon. But I'm going to be in Boston with Hope for a couple days uh, because she's finishing up her finals. So, you know, I'm going to be like just using my backlog of footage. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Have a great rest of your day. Who's out here doing that? Like, I don't know how else to say it. Who's out here doing that? Like... It's, it's like, it's crazy how strong that, that deck is now, kind of. Like, you can, you can technically leech the Galactus deck, but if you're leeching Galactus last turn of the game, they've probably beaten you, right? Are they, do they have blue marble? I technically beat blue marble on the right, but I think I'm supposed to play Destroyer left. They can just, like, blue marble and pass, and then I lose to Sunspot. I lose to Sunspot, so I'm supposed to play left, right? Yeah, it, they did Blue Marvel anyways. Close game, chat. Very close game. I was going to say, normally you're you're pretty uh, in the loops engine, but the way you were talking, I was like, I don't know, like, I don't know if he knows what the patch was. Yeah, Lockjaw, Lockjaw got kind of bodied, and I'm, I'm like... Medium upset about it. Lockjaw got hit pretty hard. First time in months. Yeah, the bachelor party killed me. <laughs> I um. Yeah, leader. Leader, I think is good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it. I straight up. I think leader is actually pretty good. This is where we get uh, Galactus, by the way, and lose, but it's fine. I I actually think. Uh, uh, it, 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 it's tough out there if you really dislike leader right now. I will say that much. It's tough out there if you don't like leader. In my opinion, currently. My bachelor party took me three days to return home. I, I was talking about this earlier. I've never been to a wedding chat, and I've never been to a bachelor's party. I've never... I'm zero for zero. Yeah, I like the new Atlantis view. I, I like that, too. I like the new Atlantis effect. I'm zero for zero on bachelor parties. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. That was such a good Cosmo. Giga Cosmo. Dude, personally. When we were younger, we used to party super hard. I know. I know. All of you guys are out partying me. I'm 23, guys. This is, like, I, I have to stop drinking at 22. I am not going to drink for, like, the rest of my life because I, like, medically can't, right? You know what I mean? Like, my, my drinking days are unironically already over. Now I'm old. I drink red wine, like, three glasses of red wine. Red wine isn't even that bad for you, Copium. Like, red wine, I feel like, is, is like, pretty appropriate for you health-wise. Yeah, I was going to say, like, one glass of red wine per meal does not sound that bad. It's very doable.
It is actually good. Yeah, for the the heart antioxidants. But for like a clown like me, like I'm I'm already done drinking. Like straight up, I'm already I can't drink anymore for the rest of my life, chat. I'm not I, it seems like you include breakfast. I'm not sure you were supposed to. Isn't Spanish breakfast uh later in the day though? Like Spanish breakfast, maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm giving uh cucumber too much credit. Spanish breakfast is like way later in the day though, typically though, right? Kinda, today I'm already at four, lol. Above average day then, above average day for you. Destroyer wins, right? If they leader, wait, chat, are they about to leader my destroyer? Chat, do we think they leader my destroyer? Oh my god, please leader me. Please leader me. Wait, chat, they might leader my destroyer here. Still cool, but I wanted it so bad. Okay, whatever, it's fine. We still won. Leader would have been so much funnier there. Like, actually so much funnier. I can't do this shit if I'm not sober. So I, so my peak drinking, and again, like as we've kind of established, my peak drinking, I don't even think is that much. I, like genuinely, I don't think it's anything that crazy. Uh, was when I worked in the pharmacy and I was in charge of like, I'm, I was in charge of like a team of 60 people chat. So I'm in charge of like 60 people, students, uh, just like general workers. Like, you know what I mean? Like not students, but people who are just like around. Uh, that was what I would drink the most because I just come home from work after managing everyone and I was just like, oh my god, like I just I just need like a beer or something, you know what I mean? Like so I would have like two or three drinks after work pretty much pretty consistently. But like being in charge of people sucks, chat. Yeah, I, I think like one glass of wine an hour, like every few hours even, really won't do anything for you. But like chat, I, I like dude, being in charge of people is terrible. It's actually the worst. I got paid a lot more money. Like, I straight up got paid, like, double my previous position almost. Maybe, like, 40% more than my previous position. But, like, it was it was rough. I can drink a few whiskey without a flinch, but one glass of wine and I'm tipsy. That's funny. Uh, this is just more power than... This is just 15 also. So this is just a little bit better for Destroyer. Because we keep the two stats here. Yeah, red wine has good antioxidants that helps your digestion. It's, it's good for your gut. I don't like red wine either, though, if I'm being honest. I think red wine is gross. I think red wine is, like, pretty mediocre at best. I do like white wine, though. White wine is pretty tasty. I like, uh, I like, I like dessert wine, too. Dessert wine can be pretty good. This is another, this is another clean win, chat. Another, like, honestly, really clean one. Guy was in Portugal, said red wine was gross. Red wine was gross in Portugal. I don't think red wine goes with fish. And like 80% of... I, I was in the Azores, right? Keep in mind, I was in the Azores. So like, it's it's uh, not exact... It, like, it's very different than mainland Portugal. But like, the the fish was like, so, like good. But like, fish doesn't really go with red wine, I would say. I think fish is a super white wine kind of meal. Portugal and Spain, top red wine of the world. What the fuck is wrong with you? Fair enough. Fair enough. Is that a new animation for Captain America? I think that actually, that looked like a different animation. They drink in Portugal since 14 as well. Yeah, absolutely. There was a lot of drinking in Portugal. I drank a lot in Portugal chat. I'm going to Cosmo here and then Claw here, I think, at some point. Maybe I just Claw now. I can just Claw here and go here. Maybe better. I 
I kind of like Atuma here. And then I can go like Professor X here into Claw. I guess I can't do that. I have to Atuma right. I'll Atuma right and then I'll Professor X. And hope that they just don't dump. And then I can destroy her if I'm if I'm losing here, I'll just destroy her. Claw wins this currently, so I can go Professor X here. And they probably can't beat this in one turn, and then I go Destroyer or Claw, which is both very good. That's fine. So, what is up? Is, is Destroyer best here? Destroyer's 14. I don't have priority, so it's definitely just Destroyer. And then when they leader me, they lose, right? Please leader me, gamer. Please leader me. I'm also, by the way, we're playing Destroyer in case they doom. Because if they doom, Claw doesn't win. Please, please leader me. I'm, I'm glad I got in there last night before all this patch nonsense. Yeah, if you, if you just are starting from zero today, it's probably pretty rough. Yeah, people, I, I think I, in, in the, the developer's defense, the Shuri metagame went on way too long, in my opinion. Way too long. No, I wanted the leader. This is still a win, but I, wa I, want, a I want a leader destroyer so bad, chat. That would be the best clip, is leadering a destroyer. Let's try, but you you mostly play bots, right? Cucumber, like like objectively, you're mostly playing bots, right? So like like yeah, but also like it's it's kind of just bots for you, right? I played uh, my ladder until the season was like nine bots and ten. Yeah, I was gonna say like the bots change things a lot. I would say. I, um, trying to think. They snap. I played, I played only bots really from like 70 to 80 and then I played no bots after that. My second account is like noobs and rescue bots, yeah. I, yeah, I pretty much only faced bots in the 70s, I would say. After that, I pretty much never played a bot. I wonder if you'll play a lot more bots at the start of the season now, like when you start climbing, because Infinite only plays against Infinite now. I'm curious how that will work. Oh, I didn't hit enter. That's my bad. We're tied there, which is interesting. We also have a Tuma, though. Not a big deal. So, wherever I play, I just get Professor X, so... I think it's fine to just do this. I guess I can just... I'll just Atuma this turn and then I can destroy her right or whatever. I could just destroy her left. It's fine. They're, they're gonna Professor X basically wherever I don't play the Atuma, so I think it's fine. Yeah. And then hopefully I play... I get Claw here. Claw would be best. No Claw. I think I, I think I, I just outpower them right. Unless they play if they play claw, I lose. Uh, but we'll see. I do just outpower them. Yeah, I so. And so now we just win in tiebreakers, which is fine. Uh, thank you for making it to the end of my Marvel Snap video. Uh, if you liked, I would really appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, uh, you know, leave a comment. I also stream on twitch.tv slash homemymaxwell, and I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for checking out my channel.